When we think of spring cleaning, we often think of deep cleaning things like our windows or maybe even flipping our mattresses. But what you may not be doing is cleaning the things that clean the things you clean every day. Did you follow that? Okay, let me break it down for you. Things like our dishwasher, your washing machine, dryer, your garbage disposal, your sink, those are the things that need to really be clean if you want to maximize your cleaning. But don't worry, I'm gonna break it down for you, plus show you the three things that you need to do all that cleaning that are probably in your house already. And what I'm talking about is getting some cleaning vinegar. Now, I picked this up at the dollar store. This is great for so many purposes, especially for making homemade cleaners. Some baking soda, which oftentimes I just get it right at Costco because I use so much of it and then you have your kind of measuring cups and stuff so let's start with those sinks that can sometimes those drains will move slowly what you're going to do is take a cup of baking soda and you're just going to sprinkle it down the drain a cup of vinegar and then you're going to cover it with a cloth for 10 minutes let it do its thing take some hot water pour it down the drain it's going to be running super smoothly after that Plus, if you want to freshen up your garbage disposal, you can even just take a, a, a lemon or any kind of citrus, put the peels or even just cut off a small chunk and let that run in the garbage disposal, maybe with some ice cubes. That helps it, keeping really, helps it keep really fresh as well. Okay. Some of our worst offenders are our washer and dryer, especially if you have a front loader. Every time you run a load, I want you to wipe down the inside of your washing machine and then leave that door open to let it air dry. When you close the door and it's still wet, that's what causes the mold and traps odors. I also want you to pull back that gasket and you're gonna spray your cleaner. This is my homemade lemon vinegar cleaner. You're gonna spray it in there and then pull that gasket back, remove anything that shouldn't be there like pennies, Legos, hair clips, and then wipe that down as well with the cloth. Now, speaking of washer dryer, please tell me you are cleaning out your lint trap. This should be taken out after every load and you're gonna take it and literally scrape all of this guck out that's inside, okay? This is a fire hazard. Now, what I also want you to do is while this is out, you can get one of these vacuum attachments for under $10 from Amazon. You're gonna attach it to your vacuum and kind of go in and trap all of that dust that sometimes your lint trap doesn't collect. Plus, if you use things like dryer balls, these are really great for helping um, kind of reduce static cling and also helping to keep your clothes fresher and dry faster. So, the other thing I wanna make sure I tell you about is cleaning out the tracks of your sliding glass doors. You can actually take a sponge and cut lines into it so that you can actually get into those tracks even better than before. You'll just cut in and then you're gonna remove these parts of your sponge. And what I want you to also do if you don't have one of these handy nozzles is take a old toilet paper roll here. You're gonna attach that to your vacuum nozzle and then pinch down on this part right here, and this can then become a vacuum for inside of your sliding glass door. So remember, to make this homemade cleaner, we're just adding some lemon, some old lemons, lemon peels, vinegar, let it sit, and then you're gonna mix it with some warm water. That's your all-purpose cleaner. You can also use baking soda, and lemon is a great scrub agent, but these are ways to not only keep your home clean, but to clean the things that you want clean every day and make it even better.